Let's what time is it? <laughs> Where is the master? Master! <laughs> Looks like my man forgot about his pizza. <laughs> I must see him now. Oh, no, 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 no. The wise one never sees nobody. Man. He will see me. I have this. What you got? Woo! <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> Fortune cookies, tell him! It's true, it's true. Please show him. I'll show you! Oh, yeah, I'll show you. Yeah, show him. Show him, show him. This is some dumb guy. good man i'm glad all my guys is in the building man i'm doing great bro i'm doing excellent man all right i'm feeling amazing guys all right and i just wanted to come here and talk with you guys for a minute man and let you guys know on how special semen retention bro is bro you guys don't understand on how semen retention is the truth bro it is literally connected to everything bro it is literally connected to everything. It is connected to your higher self, bro. It is connected to reaching the most high. It's connected to manifesting what it is you want. It is connected to all of the prayers, bro, that you want. It is connected to every single thing that you've been looking for, your happiness, your fulfillment, okay? Think about it. Think about it, gentlemen, on how important it really is in your life. Okay, because it has been amazing for me. I want you guys to understand something, man. I have been, this is this is literally the strongest, bro, I've ever been mentally in my life, bro. No cap, bro. On everything I love, bro. This has been, bro, I have never been this mentally strong, bro. I've never been this strong physically, okay? I am a strong dude. I'm walking around here barely 180 pounds and I'm still retaining the same strength that I had when I was 20 pounds heavier, okay? And that's the truth, bro. I am so strong. I've been through so much, bro. I am mentally strong, bro. I cannot be broken. Don't even try it. It's a waste of time. I've seen too much in my life, bro. <laughs> I've been through too much in my life, bro. And then I stumbled upon the most ultimate rejuvenation tool that a man has, which is called semen retention. <laughs> this energy went inside of me, bro. It circulated back inside of me, bro. And it turned me into a superhero. Okay. It turned me into one of the most smartest men walking around here. I'm so smart walking around here. People think that I'm actually not as smart as I am because I'm playing to their level. Isn't it amazing, bro, on how much energy that you cultivate with semen retention, bro, okay, and how you transmute it, bro, and now all of a sudden, bro, you're out here showing people, man, the true highest version of yourself. Most of these people can't even stand the light, bro. It's too bright for them, man. They hate. You only get a couple things that come with semen retention. You're going to get somebody that's a hater or you're going to get somebody that's a congratulator. Okay. I'm going to keep it 1000 with you, bro. Okay. <laughs> it's only one or two things you're going to get with these people, bro. You're going to get a hater or you're going to get a congratulator. And this is what I see every single day, bro. I am not kidding you, man. Okay. This is what you're going to see. I want you guys to understand something, man. I want you guys to understand something, bro. You have it tough out here as a man. 
Okay. You really do. Okay. And what you need to understand guys is you need to understand that you have the ability to rise above all this stuff. You have the ability to break free. You have the ability to take these chains, bro, off of your wrist, man. Okay. And be able to fly and spread your wings and be truly who it is that you want to be. And the only thing that you have to do, bro, Okay. The only thing you have to do, bro, is retain that seed. I want you guys to understand something, man. I want you guys to understand something. Yes, it's tough. Yes, it is. All right. But I want you to understand something, man. Willpower, bro, is only going to get you so far. So all that will that you got, all that, I'm going to make it this week. I'm going to I'm going to retain for this, this next two weeks. I'm going to, I'm going to retain for a month and all that willpower, bro, is only going to get you so far, man. Okay. All of these motivational talks that I be sitting up here giving you week in and week out, bro, are only going to get you so far. It's only going to get you so far, bro. But let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something that I've discovered, bro. Discipline, bro. This discipline that you gain from this strength that you acquire on all the stuff that you are holding over your head like a Superman. When I tell you you're holding a gigantic Kamea Kamea wave over the top of your head full of energy from all the things, bro, that you done absorbed. You have a huge spirit bomb that you about to drop off, bro. Okay, this is what you're holding up over your head because of all of that discipline, bro, that you done acquired. And get let me tell you something. This discipline is going to last forever, bro. This is what I want you guys to understand, okay? That little that little weak little motivation, okay? That little weak little willpower, bro, it's only going to get you so far, but that discipline that discipline is going to take you far as you want to go in your life. How do I know? Because I'm using it. When I tell you, bro, that I am unwaved, when I tell you, bro, that I am solid, when I tell you, bro, that I can't not be broken, when I tell you, bro, I am focused on my goals, when I tell you, bro, I can sense energies, my intuition is so high, I can tell when someone is immediately not supposed to be here with me, bro, I have this ability. Okay. I can get around anybody and feel energy, bro. And once I start to feel the energy, bro, I don't know how to deal with the situation. When I tell you this is what heightens on your semen retention journey, believe me, it does. Okay. We all have these natural abilities as humans, bro. Okay. But when you don't have any energy, how are all these different functions going to work? Think about it. It's like a remote control car, right? How is all the functions going to work? When your batteries are low, it's not. The wheels are not going to turn right. The lights are not going to come on right. This is the same thing that's happening with you, okay? And you need to understand that you have to stop releasing this energy, bro, because it's bad for you, all right? It's bad for you, bro. I want you to understand, guys. I want you to understand, guys, okay? There is so many miracles, bro. <laughs> There are so many miracles that you are going to perform Are you retaining your seed, bro. I want you to understand that. You're going to bust through, man, all the anxiety, bro. You're going to bust through, bro, all of the depression, bro. You're going to bust through any mental weakness that you have, bro. When I tell you guys, you really become a superhero and you cannot be broken and you're strong and you're determined, bro. And I promise you're going to get whatever it is you want because it's a mindset but once you have this journey literally set in on you, bro, you cannot be changed. You cannot go back. You are now him. And when I tell you, bro, you're not going to settle at all. You will never settle, bro. You understand your value, bro. You understand how valuable, valuable you are. You understand what you bring the world, okay? And this is what I'm trying to display to y'all. I'm trying to show y'all, bro, that this is real. Semen retention is the damn truth. There is nothing tougher out here, bro, that a man could do, bro, that's going to give him the most benefits back. This semen retention, bro. That's on everything I love, man. I literally feel, bro, like I am uh, sitting behind the scenes, bro, manipulating, controlling me myself in a matrix, I am able to say no to what everybody else is being caught up in. 
I am able to walk a path that nobody else is walking on. We're not just sitting here talking about retaining my seat. We're talking about a health discipline in life. We're talking about a certain way, a lifestyle of way people eat when all the food has been proven to be toxic. I'm out here doing things that revolve the most discipline. Okay. I'm out here eating one meal a day. I'm out here fasting for most of my days. I'm out here not eating no garbage. I'm not drinking no stimulants. I ain't taking no uh, subscription pills. I ain't taking none of that, bro. I ain't taking no, no over the counter supplement. I ain't, bro. When I tell you I'm pretty much natural with everything that I do, I am that. Okay. And that alone requires a high amount of discipline. And I look around myself every single day in this world and I see what people are doing. I see what people are consuming. I see why people's energies is off. I see why people can't think correctly. I see why people's lives is not as great as they really think they are. These people are walking around with all sorts of issues, man. Okay. I'm talking about overweight. I'm talking about back problems, knee problems. Okay. I'm talking about just all sorts of issues because of the choices that they're putting. Okay. The choices that they are listening to, the choices that they have made by putting these things into their body that require discipline to break. So my question to you is, if your life force energy is that damn important, if it makes sure that all your systems are running properly, if it is the battery to your damn RC car, why are you wasting the energy and thinking that you're going to be able to go through this world, bro, and make the correct and, uh, correct and the most wisest decisions for yourself? We all know that this is not happening. Okay. We all know this is not happening. This is why we hear these things like semen retention is a myth. Let me tell you guys something. And I want you to really think about it. They try to tell you semen retention is a myth. Why do you think that they tell you that? Think about it. It's really easy if you really think about why they tell you that. They tell you that, bro, because there is less than 1% in the world doing this. So what does that mean? That means that they don't have very much, <laughs> they don't have very much, you know, notes. They don't have very much testing. They don't have any kind of data, bro, on a retainer. So they can't tell you the benefits of these, you know, long-term retainers. This is why it's important for you guys to come on these channels and listen to people who are telling you what it really is while they're retaining their seat. Okay. You are getting the information right here live in prime time, bro, versus getting it regurgitated through some, you know, sources that are probably most likely going to be manipulated. Okay. They tell you that, bro, because there is not many people doing it. All right. So they're not going to be able to tell you what the true benefits of semen retention are. You're going to have to go look for a real retainer, bro, to get the true and the correct knowledge. All right. This is showing you, man. All right. This is showing you, bro, that people out here, man, have not yet found the truth. People out here, bro, are still lost. You got to understand, man. This is why we have the chaos that we have. If there's only 1% of the people in the world who are really going inside and working on themselves, conserving their life force energy, repairing themselves, fixing all the negative karma that they had in their side, their lives, fixing, fixing all the health issues they have in their life. Dude, if people have not done this, man, okay, what kind of people do you think that we're going to have in this society around us? All right. And why our journey as a retainer is that much harder? Okay. It proves to you why you need to walk this journey alone, bro. Okay. Because if you don't walk this journey alone, you're going to end up, like I said, coming together with one of these people, bro, who have not worked on themselves. And I guarantee you, it's going to knock you off your journey and hinder you. And not only that, it's going to start draining energy from you, bro. All right. This is what's going to happen. This is why it's important to go on retention, bro. And let what is meant for you be attracted to you. You will know, bro, because it'll work out. It'll be somebody else, bro who is walking the same journey as you, somebody who released all their negative karma, somebody who's healed, <laughs> somebody who's gone through a transformation, bro, all right, where they've figured out their health. They've figured out they're not just going to be letting people jump in and out of their body just because they feel good. You know, there's so many different things, bro, that will classify somebody, bro, 
as someone who worked on themselves. But most of the people out here, bro, like I said, have not done this. And this causes you great danger and risk on your retention journey. You guys need to understand, man, that this is super important, man. All right. And I'm telling you right now, guys, I'm telling you right now, there's tons of women, bro, in this world, bro. Tons. Okay. And let me, let me explain something to you. There's not enough women in this world still, bro. Okay. To make you feel better about what you're doing when you're out there releasing your seed. It's going to be a never ending feeling, bro, that you're never going to be able to quench. Okay. And it's going to lead you down a rabbit hole, bro, of self detriment. Okay. I'm telling you, this is why it's important for you guys to go on retention, to understand how to do things in moderation, to understand how to transmute the energy, bro, to understand that waking up in the morning, bro, with morning wood is a good sign that you have high testosterone. And what is it that you guys do when you, when you see this, you immediately go and waste your testosterone. Okay. It's a complete ridiculous Thing that's going on out here in society. Okay. We're all backwards guys. And now that we have retention here, man, I want you guys to understand that we have now found the truth. There is nothing out here, bro. <laughs> there is nothing out here, bro. That's a bigger truth than retention, bro. I have, bro, when I tell you, I feel like I've turned into a Superman compared to who I used to be. Then that's what it is, bro. My mind works so much better. I am so much healthier. I'm so much wiser. I'm so much smarter. My intuition is super high, bro. I know how to weed people, bro. I know how to watch my back. I know how to move. I am healthy as hell for my age. I'm out here doing the right things, bro. And I told you, man. It's one of these walks where you just end up looking around and you just be hoping to find one person in this damn matrix, bro. Okay. That has worked on themselves. One person in this matrix, bro, who has gone on this walk. All right. And this is what is the toughest part about retention, because what you're going to end up seeing is nobody out here is going to qualify. <laughs> They're just not there. You're going to see the baggage. You're going to see all the different things that people are carrying around, bro. Okay. You're going to see it right off the bat as a retainer, man. And you understand that's a no go, bro. Okay. Cause that's going to go against every single thing that you just came from. Okay. You'd be going backwards. All right. And this is why I'm telling you guys, man, you guys need to focus on this journey and nothing more. Okay. You need to go into the zone. Okay. You need to strap your chin strap on, bro. All right. And get ready to run the ball straight down the pipe, bro. Okay. And get to the, to get to the end zone. Okay. I'm telling you, this is what you have to do. And when you do this, man, I'm telling you, your life is just going to be a million times better, bro. I am not going to go back. I am not going to ever, ever quit this journey, bro, because I've already seen, bro. I've already learned. I've come on so far of a journey, man, that I see what's going on out here, man. And the only way that I'm going to be able to protect myself is to do the things that, you know, that I said I would do once I see them. Okay. And that's, and that's putting up all sorts of, you know, you know, this distance boundaries, whatever you want to call them from people, bro. Because like I said, bro, What's going to end up happening, man? If you, you you keep messing around out here, bro, someone's going to end up coming in, bro, and they're going to end up knocking you off your journey, man, okay? And it's not going to be worth it, bro, okay? If you didn't attract this person genuinely, all right? So this is what I want you guys to do, man. I want you guys to continue to keep doing this, man. I want you to understand that it's the truth, bro. There is, man, when I tell you that this is the truth, bro, Bro, I'm the strongest. I'm the bravest. I'm the most confident, bro. All right, bro. I bro, I feel like there's nothing that I cannot do. All right. And that's an energy that you need to have as a man. Okay. If you're not feeling that, if you're not thinking like that, if you don't have this mindset, bro, then you're doing yourself a disservice, man. Okay. Retain that seed. Okay. Increase that testosterone, fellas. Okay. It's okay, man, to wake up with that morning wood. Transmute that energy, bro. Don't drain it. Don't drain it, bro. Transmute it, man. That's a great sign. You're going in the right direction, bro. Okay. Your energy is right where it needs to be, man. All you need to do, bro, is start this journey small, man. 
Okay. Start this journey small. Start hitting those month, two month streaks, bro. Start building that T. Hit the gym. Work out. I don't want you to overwork out, but I want you to go somewhere where you can transmute the energy, bro. Because if you let this energy stay stagnant, bro, it is going to cripple you. All right. You can you 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 sit there with this energy, bro, and you're not gonna enjoy retention, man, because you're gonna have all sorts of things that are start happening to you. You got to be a moving body. This is why a retainer is successful because he's going to expand himself in every avenue possible. All right. And this is what I want you guys to do. Jordan says, nothing worth nothing, bro. <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. You couldn't have said that any better, bro. Okay, because it's not. Bro, listen. I'm telling you, man. Listen, let me tell you guys something. I'm going to explain something to you, man. I want you to think about it, bro. I really want you to think about it. If we as humans, bro, would have ever in our history been retaining our seeds, we would not be in this position. If we was as a majority of people would known about this practice, we wouldn't be in this position that we're in. We would have much more intelligent people, bro, in much more established positions, man. But what you have is, bro, you have a society full of degenerates, bro. You have people out here, bro, who are not as half as intelligent that they're supposed to be because they've been out here releasing their seed, bro. It's in their bloodline. I want you guys to understand before the fall of man, let's look at the, let's, let's take a look at the Bible. This is use this for an example. Let's take a look at the Bible. Okay. You look at Adam and Eve, bro. Okay. Adam and Eve, bro. You look at that story, man. And you look at how they were pure, right? Just like I told you what you're going to go on when you're on a long retention journey. You look at them and how they're pure, right? They were pure. Okay. Think about it. They were pure before the fall, bro. Okay. And this is what we are. We have to understand that we have to get back to that point, bro, before the fall, before we understood, okay, what that forbidden fruit was. And if you ask me what the forbidden fruit was, the forbidden fruit was the knowledge of sex, the knowledge of intimacy, the knowledge of being naked, because now you have to battle that demon. And what happens when you give into that demon? Because now every time you see a booty, now every time you see a rack, you're going to think you have to do something with that energy. Okay. And this is what's caused our detriment here in the United States. This is why we are degenerates. This is why we are leading that category because we have this stuff all around for people to access, man. All right. Without telling them the true knowledge, man of this true energy that we have, man, that we could cultivate, that we can move mountains. Each and every one of us have this special gift, this special ability, bro, to transform our lives like never before. And we're all sitting here wasting it, bro. It's like we're just a bunch of cars, man, that have no fuel in it, man. It's just like a, it's just like a wrecking yard full of cars, bro. You guys need to understand, man. We need to get back to zero point. We need to get back to being pure again. And the only way we're going to do that, bro, is we start saying no to everything in the outside world. I told you, you have to say no to every single thing that this world is pushing. Every single thing that you see, you have to say no to it, okay? And this is the only way you're going to get that discipline. And when you get that discipline, fellas, you are a bad man, Majama. No one can knock you off your path. Now you're one of these leaders out here who cannot fall off. You out here leading people by example. You out here raising the troops, bro. All right. Turn them into super soldiers, bro. And then from super soldiers into each individually being their own master. This is the type of, of leadership, bro, that we need to get our world back, man. We got to take this world back, bro. And the only way we're going to do it, man, I'm telling you, bro, the only way we're going to do it is retain the most powerful energy that we have here as human males, bro. And that's our life force energy because that makes the difference between a man and a coward, okay? I'm telling you the difference, all right? And what you're going to see, man, what you're going to see when you retain this seed, bro, you're going to see that nothing and I mean absolutely nothing, bro, is ever going to hold you back. CT, uh, Caesar says, no relapse zone. We're that 1%, bro. 
I just don't understand, man. I still don't understand. I do understand, but I don't understand. I know it's the matrix. I know it's tough. I know there's so many addictions out there. I still see, see people drinking coffee. I mean, <laughs> people, man, no, there's nothing that you should be putting into your body, bro, except natural food, point blank, period. Okay. And people don't even know what natural food is anymore. Okay. Like I said, there's, there's, it's, 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 it's the world can be, it could be a little hard to swallow when you're a retainer, man. Okay. Because all you want to do is try to help people. All you want to do is try to wake people. All you want to do is try to save souls, bro. But what you're going to understand, man, it's not only a tough road, man. All right. It's, it's not only a tough road, bro, because you got to worry about yourself at the same time. But at the same time, it's like you trying to help somebody else swim that's drowning. All right. And you got to understand you have some decisions to make. This is why I'm telling you guys, I want you guys just to focus on this journey. Go on your own, bro. Go within, man. Block out the world right now. This is a perfect time to do this, man. Dating is in the is in the dumps. Marriage is in the dumps. Everybody's out here trying to do the same thing. Nobody's out here trying to be with anyone, at, you know, out of pure authenticity and being genuine. Everybody's out here using each other. Everybody's out here sexually depleted. Everybody out here sleeping around with each other. Everybody out here is in a low vibrational energy. You know it. I know it. I see it every damn day. Okay. I rarely see people that are in some high vibrational energy, bro. All right. And this is why this time is more important than ever to retain your seed, bro. Okay. You need to be somebody, bro, who's rising above the bull, bro. And this is how you're going to do it. Nick says the most high's will for us to retain until marriage and only release actively trying to procreate makes sense why everything gets aligned when we retain. And that's the fact, bro. That's the absolute fact, Nick. And this is what I want people to understand, man. I want people to understand, but it's not only that too. It's, it's, it's trying to find a partner in the modern day as a retainer is going to be one of the toughest things that I must talk about because a lot of people are going to get on this journey and I know that they're going to try to use this as an excuse to fall off, okay? You have to understand. I already told you as a retainer, you've, you've, you've changed your life around. You're not out here in the streets, but it seems like that's what these modern day women want. I know it's like a contradictory thing and it sucks. This is why you got to put your head down and ignore everything around you. Okay. Because here it is. You are, you're, you're the best version of any man walking around this earth. You can attract anything you want. You have the ability, you have the gifts. All right. You can show your proof and your worth. But yet still, because of the way things are in this modern world, women want guys that are losers. Women want guys that want to, that are in jail. <laughs> women want guys that, you know, that are just because they got money and they know they're out here messing with three, four different girls. Like I said, you're going to have a hard time finding a match. This is why I want you to understand if you were just to focus on what it is that you got, okay? And what it is that you want to accomplish before you know it, one year, two year with your head down, bro, you're going to be able to have everything that you want, the career, okay, the the job, okay, the, the house, the home, the cars, okay, you'll be able to have all of that. All right. And with that is going to come, bro, I promise you, uh, somebody who is just like you is going to be out there and you're going to be able to connect with that energy. Don't be one of these people, man, okay, that give in. Don't be one of these people that settle. Let me tell you something. I've done that before, man, and it was one of the worst decisions that I ever made, okay, because who knows how far I could have been in that whole time that I was with that person. Who knows how far I could have been, okay? But what I did is I settled, okay, because of the peer pressures, because of the temptations, okay? I settled. Now, it wasn't well, something to look bad upon because it was a very long time that I went, but I'm just saying I settled for something, man, and I shouldn't have, okay? Because if I, if it was supposed to work out, it would have worked out. So that lets me know that it it wasn't for me. And what I did was, was something I did was waste my time. That's what I did. I set myself back, all right? And look where I'm at now. 
Look at the person that I am now. Look at the leadership that I have uh, displayed. Look at the content that I have put out. Look at the person that I walk every single day. Look what I teach and preach to people every single day. Now imagine if I would have never taken that break on how much greater of a person I'd be, how much further that I would be, how much more of a pull and a connection, bro, and magnetism that I would have if I would have just kept my head down. And this is what I'm trying to tell you guys. This is what's going to happen to you. I promise you, this is what's going to happen to you. Okay. Just keep your head down and focus on your goals, bro. And I promise you, everything's going to work out. All right, guys, I'm about to dip up out of here, man. I just wanted to talk about that real quick, about how retention is the truth. You guys, man, listen, man, it is the truth, bro. You unlock everything. There is nothing left to unlock, all right? You're, you're, bro, you're up here doing what I'm doing, all right? And I know a lot of you sitting here thinking, oh, I could never do that. Yes, you can, because I was the same person saying I could never do that, all right? But you got to have this, you got to have this, aura about you. You got to have this confidence about you. And the only way you're going to have that, bro, is to keep what God gave you, man, to make you that man. He gave you the T, bro. He gave it to you. And what did you do? What are you going to tell God? God gave you all the power that you need. And what did you do with the power that God gave you? You released it, bro, right out of the tip of your head. That's all you did, bro. Instead of re- conserve this energy and become superhuman, okay, you decide to let it out because it feels good. So you defeated yourself. You can't blame nobody else but yourself, okay? Because you are now hooked on that. You got to admit that you have an addiction and you got to work on it. All right. That's the only way things are going to get better. You can't make an excuse. You can't be poor me. I was in this situation. Listen, when you're retaining your seat, there is no excuses. I don't care if you're broke. I don't care if you, you, you think you're overweight. I don't care if you think you're underweight. I don't care if you don't think you look good. When you have your seat, you have so much confidence, bro. None of that shit matters. You are bringing people to you pure off of magnetism, bro which is way more powerful than any other look, any other, you know, materialistic thing that someone could do. Okay. This is what the most high wanted you to do. He wants you to have this energy so you can have the life that you truly want, but you have to work for it, guys. You have to put in the discipline, but at the end of the day, if you do all those things, like I said, man, this is going to last forever. And I put that on everything I love. So until the next time, guys, I'm about to dip out of here, man. I love you guys. You guys be safe, man. Have a good weekend. And I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Peace, fellas. I will not stage, even if I must sacrifice my life.